Alright, well, I think I've shared it all the correct channels. Walk up the lead real quick. Got my missions, right? Yep, alright, well, let's get started, I guess. Open to it. I was thinking about trying out different variants today, just messing around. I've already shown off the world in a war on plenty. I can like always do Cal Yuga, which is always, you know, very silly. I don't think it's actually that great, but you know, it's fun. Uh, then there's Oh god. Put the uh, new unicorn in there, obviously. See that. What else do I have? Uh, I, don't, I haven't really made too many builds because I think the Rorodon wants the best. We can try Kaliuga though. See how that plays, even though it's a little janky into Runic. First, that's good. Uh, this hand doesn't really do it unless they. Yeah, I drew all the bricks. Funny. So I had souls. Obviously, I'll put back this illusion of chaos. Having this guy in my hand's not actually that bad. Good souls. If they throw a maxi, I can at least get a gamma down. Nothing. Okay, well, let's see if I can get a little further out of this. Wow. Okay, well, that's just a hard brick. Jeez, double gamma and ash in hand. Uh, can I do anything with this... No, I can't get to a rank 7. Wow, that was a really terrible start. I'm actually worse off than if I had used my souls. Not the best start to the stream. I'm trying to show off a new variant and I just immediately break <laughs> on hand traps. Uh. I'm only running five hand traps in the whole deck. Uh, I think you gotta ash this. Oh, this is really awkward because, I mean, I don't think there's a really great ash target in the Thunder Dragon setup, so. That's Punk Thunder Dragon, makes sense. Another 60 card deck. This should set them up for a curious pretty easily. Oh, there's a door. Okay, yeah. The guards, sure. Put my door in graveyard. Drop two. Dark. Summon my master plan? Sure. Oh, he's going to summon my magician souls and draw cards, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't think it's usually fits into this deck very well. But, I mean, Midora would mess up my deck if I, uh, if, when I, if and when I do go second, he can shuffle my uh, master plan back. But, I mean, I just bricked. I would have crushed this guy if I had, like, an Appaloosa, obviously. Actually, let's skip this one. Yeah. L 
elf. What's he, what's he summoning with elf? Oh, dark, sure. This is gonna get him to like an access code line, I guess. Wow, he's not even, okay, sure. I do have Gamma, so like a monster reborn or a big red could help me out here. Can you go into Appaloosa here? So it's probably gonna target my master plan and my Link Grebo here. Yeah, I need that master plan in the graveyard, so I have to Gamma. I don't feel like a Shizu Runic makes a lot of sense, but okay. I mean. I'm guessing it would be annoying. What do I think of Rongo these days? Eh. It's kind of a fragile combo, and you need to play a lot of bricks for it when you don't... You know, it doesn't have really good follow-up plays if you get interrupted the same way Aurora does, despite playing a similar number of bricks. It doesn't play as well with the dangers, you know. Though that is kind of... Oh, he can still do Midor on my... Right? Oh, it banishes, right? Okay, so no, he can't Midor on my turn, because the banishes for cost. Okay. That's not quite as bad, but, you know, just need a starter. That does not do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. He's got functionally lethal here by just doing some Thunder Dragon stuff and going Braxis Code. I, I bricked on all of my going second cards when I went first. Kind of awkward. No, it's not the punk version. I did not like that very much. I tried it out, and every single time I summoned Chaos Ruler, I didn't get anything. I know that's like, you know, maybe a small sample size issue, but I don't even think it's the best version of the deck. It's just like... The only thing that's good about it is emergency teleport because I don't want to use my normal summon on Xeomin, so it's... Like, I feel like Punk's better in a deck that doesn't want to use its normal summon, which is the same reason... Oh, hey, this does it. Uh, this does it a couple of ways. So, we'll lead off with this to get to Souls. And if that doesn't work, we do have Small World. I uh, guess I'd rather have droplets just in case I get hand trapped out of this. Hello, Bob. So I bit souls. Draw a card here. I'll just keep both those. That's fine. The we'll rescue master plan. you here. Go Link Rebo just so I can see if they have a nib earlier on than I normally like to check. One, two, three, four. Then when I summon Quick Fix, if they have a nib, then I can like plan around it. I don't actually need to use Borg Blocker here, but it's nice to have it for next turn. I haven't done this comment in a hot second, so bear with me. Because it's, it's a little more complicated than the old Caliugo one where you just make Curious to get to the guy. You actually make both Curious and... What's his face? Uh, Rusty. Summon. That's no nib. It's good for me. Uh, they could definitely unban Spiral in TCG. Spiral wouldn't even be close to the strongest deck. I mean, depending. You couldn't. You wouldn't want to put Quick Fix to three or something. That'd be silly, but... Alright, so now we go into Assault Mission. Quick go fix. Oh, I actually don't think I was supposed to use my Link Creeper early on. Oops. 
That might actually matter in a second here. I'm playing Kali Yuga right now. I guess it doesn't really matter because I have Nessie in my hand, right? Yeah, it's not going to matter. We just uh, link Kribo. This card Nessie here. Suchinoku because it makes things easier. Just, there we go, it's all my cards from my quick fix out. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to summon Link Group early like I ended up doing. That was a mistake on my part. Might as well do this at this point. I don't think it's going to matter in the end though. Now we uh, make master plan. I do have one rescue mission left, right? Yep, all right, that makes everything should work here. All right, now we go into curious. We'll send to Strudo. I think, I think I am unsure of what to say. Live long and prosper while the winter melts away. Sticks and stones and trash and stones make me sick while they break my bone. Needles live in haystacks like a swarm of tiny drones. Can't keep my So we end up with this. So I messed up a little bit here. I think I can fix it though. It's supposed to end up with Selene on the field. Now let's see. How do I fix this? I could just like make a Nightmare Unicorn as another Dark Monster. Yeah, that'll work. So I just uh, discard rescue mission here. A little bit of a mess up here, but it's not going to matter in the long run. Uh, I need to get this. I need to get another seven on the field for the Volopharnicus, so we'll do that now. So, my master plan. And then we'll make Selene. I messed this up. I was supposed to do this in different orders. Doesn't really matter. Nope. Then you make Volofernigus.
Then we'll just hop roll over. So now I just need to get uh, dark monsters. And we can do that pretty quickly, I think. We'll just do it this way. Oop. Yeah, I was supposed to uh, leave Borgwalker on the field, but I messed up my combo, so we'll fix it though. We'll go Master Plan, uh, Jackalope for Nessie. Let me make a unicorn. Uh, the, the griffin's just there in case I accidentally mill my rank of magic. No other reason. Activate. Activate Nessie. I did the mess this up slightly, but I kind of got there in the end. And when you mess up, you gotta figure out how you uh, fix it. Hey, has no animation. True, true. There's like a direct line from that from that combo I started off with, where I uh, end up with uh, a board that has Master Plan on it and not Celine. But yeah, I, I think I was supposed to summon Double Helix to the top zone and Dorg Walker down here, and I messed that up. I should have like gone Nightmare Phoenix or something. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna turn this on. So so we go into main phase. We can activate our um. They can't play spells right now, and spells are like the unless they have a lava golem in hand. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we're gonna activate this on their as soon as they give me an opportunity, and we'll summon this guy. You know, they can't play smashes or anything here, and this will negate everything. So he can summon all the sprites he wants. They won't actually do anything. And like Sprite doesn't have a bunch of stuff that tr functions out of the graveyard. It can summon a lot of monsters. That won't really do anything. He can play spells now, but they get negated. So like the Secret Village protects me from Cosmic Cyclone. It protects me from um, uh, Twin Twisters. This protects me from like Starter into Smashers or some nonsense that like, gets them up to Smashers early. It protects me from Runic cards. That's the main one. Uh, it protects me from getting my Bull of Furnigus or my uh, Rank of Magic destroyed by a Runic card. Uh, so th the idea is like this is the, how you beat all the cards that beat this deck. The problem is it doesn't stop Lava Golem or Kaijus in general because on main phase they can just immediately Kaiju you. So that's problematic because their Kaiju will also hit your um, Selene. Another fun thing about this is to stop Super Poly. Uh, one of the weaknesses that this board could have had before the Secret Village tech was uh, they would Super Poly away your Phantom Knight and your uh, and your uh, Volo Furnigus because it was a dark monster. It has to be a dark monster for uh, the rank up magic. I don't play Sleeper because like there's a chance they could summon a just a 2800 attack monster and crash into Sleeper and then my Sleeper's graveyard effect would trigger and blow up my board. No reason for that. Oh no, this isn't skill drain on wheels. This is Imperial Order, skill drain, red reboot, or roll decree. It's everything, right? They can't activate an evenly mash, they can't activate anything except graveyard and hand effects. And some decks can play through Kaliuga. Um, I think uh, what's it called? Um, like Luna Kaiju could. Cause like it's a bunch of dangers and stuff or uh yeah there's the concession so yeah, i did that combo wrong i was supposed to summon borg blocker below selene so i have it for my um for my uh what you call it what's his name rusty barty <laughs> so you need like uh I, I need to like go back into the tank on uh playing that make sure i actually have my combo lines down before i just Displayed on the stream, but hey, there you go, Kaliuga. It's always fun. Nice thing about that deck is even if they negate your Curious activation or whatever, because you go into Curious first, um, you still can do just Kaliuga and just hope they don't have the outs.
Oh yeah, I can show you the the. I can show you the. Sorry, I'm a little tired today, guys. I've been I worked a lot yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I can show you the Kaliuga decklist after this. It's not crazy. It's just it's all the same versions you've seen so far of the Ancient Fairy Dragon Spiral build. So it's just playing the Kaliuga cards that you've seen me play before. How does Sleeper work when you summon the Link Four? Uh, you mean the Nightmare Griffin? You just summon the Sleeper in a monster in a zone that a Link monster points to. That's how it works. That's not even that difficult. So let's say your Nightmare Griffin is summoned to this zone. You just summon Sleeper here or here. Or if you have an Appaloosa, you can summon it to any zone an Appaloosa points to. Nightmare Griffin doesn't negate special summon monsters that have a Link monster pointing to them. Okay, so you should be able to get to Masquerade here. Yep. Yep, there's Polymerization. This hand has a lot of starters, but it doesn't actually beat Mirror Jade, which is the funny thing. I mean, it can. If I have, like, a second revival effect, the problem is Masquerade's gonna mess me up. I don't, I'm not running Cerberus anymore because it's kind of bad into Sprite, but it's really good in the Branded when they have this Masquerade stuff. This guy did never normal summon, so I think he just normal summon a Luber. Or does he already have Branded in red? He sets first. He doesn't have, like, an Edo or anything, alright? So why is he sitting first? It's probably just, like, an Imperm. So the problem with Masquerade is, like, activating Terraforming, activating the Spiral Resort, and then using the Spiral Resort is minus uh, uh, 1,800 life just to get my combo started, because this card is the Tax Man, right? I would need a Forbidden Droplets to do anything here. Really? Okay, so he didn't have the um, branded in red already, but he added... What did he add with? He added a branded opening? Okay, sure. So now, was, now he just loses to a Call by the Grave. That was very poor play on his part. I'm betting this is a Call by the Grave set. That's going to be really bad for my um, souls. I'm just going to lose to Masquerade here because I don't have a fast enough combo to play through Masquerade here. And I can't beat the branded in red, probably. Like, all of my cards are multi-activation. That's my problem here. I'm just going to run out of life points. Yeah. This is not the right hand to play into Masquerade. I wish I had, sometimes I wish I had Peng's just for just returns like this. I was going to summon another Masquerade. So I'm going to have to, like, try to dig... For our forbidden droplets here, so I can beat the double masquerade setup. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm just dead for. I mean, I was probably dead. I, my hand wasn't very good against Mirror Jade either. Like, this is going to cost me 3,600 life points. This is going to cost me 1,200, 24. That's 5,000 already. I'm just going to activate souls and see if I can draw forbidden droplets. That's my only out here is just hard drawing forbidden droplets. Nope, I lost. All right. Even Pank would have been bad there because they had a uh, branded opening in graveyard. It's like I, it was just forbidden droplets or bust there. Unfortunate, but hey, they won the they won the coin club. The hand was pretty sick though. Going first, I definitely would have won. Uh oh, I think my coin club looks back. <laughs> Second, oh, I drew the KS. Otherwise, this hand's okay. 
You can go Remus, Gamma, Soul, or uh, Souls if you need it with Small World. Oh, I'm playing a Death Hunter Dragons. Okay, well, <laughs> sure. Punk Thunder Ishizu, probably. That'd be my guess. I'm just going to lose the Thunder Dragon Colossus here, though, unless I draw Droplets again. My deck, you know, Spiral in general struggles with Thunder Dragon Colossus unless you draw Droplets, or just a million dangers, and I don't have any dangers in hand, so... You get what you expect, right? Yeah, here's the Punk line for Chaos Ruler. There's a chance I can play through some stuff if they mill me cards. How do you think the Spiral will perform when Tyrion Lutz comes to Master Duel? We will include Tyrion Lutz cards into our deck. Uh, we have a little brew going on right now involving Tyrion Lutz. Though we were going to have it bef without the issues of cards, they released the issues of cards first, which is just stupid. I can't believe like the release order on Master Duel. But uh, th they also released it without the Naturia stuff, which is s silly. But uh, we can we can include both Ishizu and Tyrion Lutz cards into our deck, and we'll just maximize on good mills. It also depends on like how many of the tier lens cards are limited when they come to the Master Duel. Yeah. Are they going to be super heavily limited or not? Currently, my idea is like run three Medora, two Keldo, two Kelbeck, one Agito, and then all the tier cards, all the Spiral cards, and that's a 60 card deck right there with like a little bit of variant, a little bit of room for stuff like you know Gamma and Droplets. This is quite the pile. So you have Midori in Graveyard. So he can shuffle my Master Plan, which sucks. The, the, the thing that's going to suck here really is the Thunder Dragon Colossus, but they're, they're certainly going to get to. I do have a tier limit spiral list that I've been testing. I'm not sure this is ideal. Uh, I wonder if I can show it on stream real quick. I'm gonna update something. Whoops. Let me mute this thing because it's gonna cause some dissonance. What's my opponent doing? Nothing? Okay, sick. Um, can I uh, capture EDO Pro? I'll show it later. I don't have this set up. Yodnim. Yodnim Alabe. I don't know exactly how you pronounce the name. Oh, okay. They did not uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus me. They do have a Medor, which is interesting. The oh, Dragon Remain's nice. I can actually, like, um, set a play up here. Midor is not an FTK, but they do have the Mascarena set up here, which is annoying. So I can Dragon Ravine. So I need to Small World for Souls. So we'll do that at, at the start. That should just be their Mascarena prompt. Oh, they have Maxi. Great. Well, I'm just going to have to play through it, whatever. Sixty card deck. Of course, he draws the maxi. So go this guy, this guy, or this guy. Oops. Is that better? Ah, I messed up, I messed up my own stream trying to show something off. Put it on window capture, I think. Hold on. 
I'm not a I'm not an experienced streamer. Okay, that should be better. <laughs> All right, so we'll activate souls here. It's not my YouTube stream saying it's. Oh, it's doing the double thing. Oh man, I've messed up my stream immediately. Uh, we'll get rid of this one then. Double screen, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm not an experienced streamer. Okay, now it's better. Okay, well. Whoops. <laughs> Dragon Ravine here. I'm on like two screens, yeah, right? I need to like figure out the streaming uh, paraphernalia stuff. The, the the peripheral stuff of paraphernalia. Back the nest, it doesn't do anything, but I do need a rescue mission master plan here. Uh, paraphernalia is like uh, accessories, but I meant to say a peripheral stuff. But now they're gonna mask your enemy, right? Now, if they mask for Unicorn, I should still win here. Assuming they don't need to be a room here or whatever. Oh, it's Zero Boros. That's annoying. So they have like a snow or something? Oh, yeah, they can just link off and. So that'll banish my guy. Alright, I do have a play here. I set this, I normal summon quick fix, I add drone, and if Suchinoko discards drone, I win. I don't have any other spirals in the graveyard, right? Okay, so it's just a 50-50. Of course, that sucks. And because I'm under maxi, I can't just like go a roar on. Um Yeah, that was just a 50-50 chance, and Snake failed me. Dang, man, that freaking Zero Boros was an annoying play. Um, so if I... Borg Blocker, Big Red, Quick Fix, and Aurorodon, it just doesn't do anything. Because like, they're getting Zero Boros back next turn, so they can out my board. Dang, lost to the Zero Boris. Oh well, lost the coin flip. And they had Maxi, admittedly. I, if they didn't have Maxi, I could do the Aurorodon play and um, snipe their hand and set up in a gate. And I, But I can't beat Zero Boris on my next turn because they can just attack over it. Attack over my plays because Zero Boris comes back. Dang. Maxi, everybody. Yeah, this does it a few different ways. So we'll start off with this to get to souls. I think they have Maxi. to add souls. I think I want to put Master Plan back in deck. Because
because the souls is the be the illusion of chaos is the better card to small world away. And they max see me here, and I have the ash. So summon souls. Hey, to you. I mean, I guess I could watch a replay. This it'd be a little different from usual. Grab these two. I do have the spells in graveyard for Celine, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> do the smoke grenade, which is funny, but does not matter. Uh, we can just go to Super Agent here. Oh, I should uh, just in case I should terraform for Spiral Resort, so my Helix can't be. Uh... I could terraform for Secret Village, so I don't have to worry about searching it. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Now she need to make a big Appaloosa and a Warblocker. And to a Rordon. Rescue Mission Back Master Plan. Add Assault. This card Assault with Quick Fix. I don't always start with Souls and Quick Fix. I don't always start with it, but the goal of the deck is to kind of find those cards. And you play cards like Small World and Illusion of Chaos and such to search them. A couple of games ago, I didn't have Quick Fix in my opening hand, but I still comboed. Your, your main goal is to try and get the Souls, because that's your most efficient starter. But you can combo without it sometimes. I've shown that off a couple of times, and I'll probably show it off sometime again today in the stream. Uh, Maxi on top, sure. Got three maxis in this top seven cards. Very funny. I don't even know what deck he's playing, but it does not matter. So now we just make Selena, I guess. Just clear some room here. I don't have to search my um, Distrito and stuff and go into carries. I can literally just uh, stack up on cards here. I guess we go for using these guys. I do want Borg's Effect to get a card back later, so we'll do this. Call Monster here. Uh, do you play Dangers in your deck? Yes, I do. If so, how many? Uh, generally, you want to play the nine good ones. Three Nessie, three Jackalope, three uh, Suchinoko. Though you can always like cut a Suchinoko here or there. It's the, it's the least effective one of the three. Alright, so now we'll just uh, clear up a little room so I'm not messing anything up here. And 
and uh, yeah, I'll have to use my quick fix now, which is fine because I don't really care about the smoke grenade in hand. Let's get my last uh, big red. Is that real sleeper new? Nope, I've had it for a while actually. Now we just make a big Appaloosa. One, two, three, four. I got the rescue mission set up for my master plan, and I can make a reward on. Which build is the most competitive? I think this is probably the best one, the reward on build. It just uh, has the it has the ability to play through uh, more interaction than other decks, just because reward on is a second point of interaction compared to curious. Our second point of broken capability compared to Curious. Like, one's Imperial Order, which is already good enough. The other one is, you know, uh, all the Auroron stuff. It does play a uh, decently high number of bricks with the Rod of Chaos and the Smoke Grenade and the O-Lion. So, like, that's uh, the one downside. You're playing, like, one or two more bricks than the average version. But the deck's really strong, and it has a lot of uh, ability to play through multiple things. All right, so we've got to do this correctly. So we're going to send Jet Synchron. We're going to rescue mission back master plan. So we can discard the rescue. This is just in case they have a Kaiju and they Kaiju your master plan. That will put another rescue mission in graveyard so you can rescue mission it back to protect your secret village setup. Uh, I play Ash because it beats Maxi and I play Gamma because it beats Maxi. Those are the only hand traps I play. In the future, I will play, uh, the other hand traps I will play will be Kelbeck and uh, Havnis because they are broken. Though Kelbeck not so much right now without the tier lens cards. There we go. So here's the idea. I've got a rescue mission to graveyard to summon my master plan again if I need to. I've got a hand rip, an omni negate, and my opponent can't play spells. What are dangers doing in this deck? They are drawing you cards and summoning themselves. And uh being Dark Monsters for Curious, and uh, being really good discard fodder for Dragon Ravine and Quick Fix and Borg Blocker, and letting you go second. That's like the main things they do. Like they give you uh, their starters that play completely generically so they don't rely on souls or Quick Fix like everything else. It comes up more going second, let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do that. My opponent only has spells in hand. That's great, so I can get rid of this uh, Sprite Red. I can play Secret Village of the Spellcasters. And now there are three spells in Maxi. Do not do anything. So get rid of Big Red. Uh, drone and Quick Fix. They don't really matter here. So activate Last Resort. And that's the general idea. So like, even my opponent did have, like, double Lava Golem in hand, I could still rescue Mission back my Master Plan and keep them off the spells. Or Blocker will turn Spire Resort to hand. So yeah, their, their hand's Maxi and three spells, and they can't play spells. Good luck! Oh, someone did ask me to show off the Kali Yuga deck, or at least the deck list. I'll do that right after this. I'll try to remember. It's really easy to forget when you're, like, focused on a game, but here we go. The same would have been insane if I was going first. It plays through a whole lot, but, um... Oh, hey! It's another Spiral player! Sick! Okay, well, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, they're gonna Spiral... They're, I mean, assuming they know how to play the deck, they should crush me, because they are winning the coin flip. I can love Floodgates. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah, Small World! Okay, this is a real Spiral player. They're playing the real cards. Yeah, Nessie. Jackalope. Add Souls. This is my first Spiral Mirror 
No, it's the second one of the season. Yeah, I did. This is the second one of this uh, new set rotation or whatever set set release. I played one a little bit ago, but the opponent did not know what they were doing, and it was very sad. This guy seems to know what he's doing here. He's got Small World online. All right, said Master Plan. Yep. Now, if he ends up playing Trigate and I draw Forbidden Droplets, they're gonna feel really silly. So they made Link Rebo with Quick Fix. That should not be right. That that has to be wrong. So they already messed up once. Like there's no way that that makes no sense. Like why do they need this Link Rebo for? If you need to make Link Rebo, you make it with Souls. So a fun thing is I actually get to criticize my opponent's plays. Drawing two is obviously the right thing to do here, but you know you don't turn your Quick Fix into a Link Rebo because now you can't make Helix. He's going to have to use a rescue mission on his Quick Fix or Flying Fire or Super Agent or... He can't make Curious. These are both Dark Monsters. These are both Spellcasters. You can't make Curious like this. If he has a Danger, he could summon the Danger and do it, but then he's like... You know, you do that before you draw here because otherwise you might draw a card you don't want to discard. So either way, he's playing it correctly. He's now realizing, oh, I can't make Double Helix. make a Selene. Okay, does he have three spells? He does have three spells, so he can make Selene, but that, that will trigger Master Plan, but that still doesn't set him up for Double Helix. He can summon Master Plan, but he, because he linked off his Quick Fix, he can't make Double Helix. There's Super Agent. If he blind fires Super Agent, I'm going to be very sad. That's very disappointing. Alright. So Spire Resort, add Sleeper, probably means he probably has no dangers left in hand if he's doing it this way. Alright, yeah, so a master plan, sure. He's probably going to have to use a rescue mission on Quick Fix, and that's going to be very sad. Yeah, he, he can use rescue to bring back Quick Fix, but that's just, why did he make the Link Creepo, right? That's the question. All right, so he searched rescue mission. He does not have assault mission yet. That's not good. All right, add sleeper. I'm probably still gonna lose, which is the funny thing. But yeah, this is a uh, not the best. If I draw droplets, though, he's in trouble. Yeah, rescue mission on quick fix. Yeah, I mean, if he does get to... He, the thing is, he, he messed up his, his plays right now. He's got drone, but he doesn't have rescue mission or assault mission into rotation. So he might not be able to stack my deck and still do his plays. Right, he's going to go into double helix here. Now he's going to discard rescue mission with quick fix. Then he's got to like make Borg Blocker to get an assault mission in the graveyard, right? Oh, he's just activating and got lucky. Oh my god. Okay, so my top card is not Droplet, so I know I'm dead. Uh, he just blind fired double helix. So everyone, this is a uh, how you don't do a spiral combo. He messed it up horrifically. Now he can use his rescue mission on Master Plan though. <laughs> So he can get an assault mission and still stack my deck. So put a, he can put a bad card on top. So he's gonna win. He won the coin flip and he got far enough to win. But yeah, this guy really just butchered his own combo by making that Link Rebo. And hey, I, you know, I, I spotted it as soon as he did it. Like, why did you make Link Rebo? You've messed up your entire combo. This is bad. At this point, I'm just gonna kind of sit here and see how far he goes because he might time out for all I know. Yeah, he just blind-fired Helix, which has to be bad. This guy's gonna make Trigate Wizard. I can just feel it in my bones. Bet you he doesn't even... Okay, so he needs to summon Link Rebo to this with this quick fix. 
to still make curious with this setup. Why are you linking? I mean, I guess you can summon your super agent, but why are you linking it off that way, dude? Oh my god. Wait, does he have, he does have the rescue in hand to discard, right? He, ha he has a mission in hand? Maybe he drew assault mission at some point. That's why he searched the second rescue mission. Okay, he drew assault mission. That explains some of it. But why didn't you... You could have just gone into Borgblocker earlier then. And not worried about all of this. Yeah, he... I mean, you know. Here we are. Now he gets to stack my deck. This guy's going to end up on, like, Try Get Wizard, Sleeper, Pass, and win. Which is good enough to beat a lot of decks, but he's just... This opponent has horrifically butchered their combo, unfortunately. Uh, they could still make Curious, right? They've got the Link Kribo, and they've got the Master Plan, that, which they can still access here. And they can still make Dolahan. Summon Master Plan, make Link Karibo. Uh, Dylan Hatley, he probably doesn't realize I'm who I am, or he might not even know who I am. I don't want to, like, you know... I don't want to assume that I'm, like, some master player that everyone should know. I'm fairly obscure. Okay, well, that is not how you make Curious. I mean, you could still do it with Link Kribo and... Uh, Dolahan, if he has Dolahan in his deck. Who am I? That's a good question. I'm just some dude. Okay, he's on the Aurordon stuff. Alright, so he's going to hand rip me and make Sleeper, and yeah, that wins. Oh, he misfired Super Agent. He stacked my deck. Wow. And misfired. That's very, very sad. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not how you do that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but still not how you do it. VFD is coming. Well, VFD is banned, so no, it is not. He's just going to uh, rip one card out of my hand, get a, another monster negate, and an omni negate that stops me from activating souls. Oh, he's making Agent Fairy Dragon this way? That's bad. Does he have a rescue mission in Graveyard to summon Master Plan? Okay, now he does. Sure, sure. Okay. So I can't play spells. This is still so bad. <laughs> Sure, summon sleeper. What are you doing, dude? You have to... Okay, trigger Ancient Fairy Dragon now. <laughs> hey, now. Don't call me a nerd, just because I'm a nerd. Okay, he didn't... He literally did nothing with Ancient Fairy Dragon. Sure. Uh, did he mill it? No, he never went to Curious. Wow. What a dog shit play. Anyhow, I lose. The FD needs to come back. No, it doesn't. That card is stupid. So this doesn't actually do anything under Herald. Okay, let's me get there. Sure. I'm just dead to this card, by the way. This this card stops me from doing anything. Normal summon souls.
Draw two cards. Negate. I lose. <laughs> Ooh, he, he did this the wrong way. I'm still going to lose, but it's funny. Now I guess to add Illusion of Chaos Tame, which is very funny. He did not activate Ancient Fairy Dragon, no. I'm guessing he was low on time. Alright, I lose. Yeah, I mean, he still had a Omni Negate, double, you know, I, my hand wasn't beating that. But yeah, he, he really butchered his combo. He's obviously supposed to end on Secret Village, a hand rip, and another negate. Hopefully they learned from that experience. I forgot to show my deck again. Dang it. I'm sorry, guys. Just It's just habit for me to just keep, you know, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, Schizor, I don't really need to check their deck. They're playing Roradon. There's only one thing that you do when you're playing that deck. Oh, this hand's pretty sick. It's gonna open the Spire Resort. Get Quick Fix. Draw. Thank you, Call by the Grave. Woo. Saving my ass here. They have two draws. That's hilarious. Um, can I still do anything here? I can't add cards to hand. Do you watch any anime? Yeah, I, I've watched anime. Double draw, huh? Well, I am under draw now. I've never been double drawed like that before. Two draws and thirty and forty cards. Sick. Um, there's just nothing that happens here, right? Even if I Dragon Ravine, send a Strudo, Ancient Fairy Dragon, you can't search with Ancient Fairy Dragon, so it doesn't do anything. Um, I guess I just set, I just do that to set up for next turn because I'm losing this Spire Resort anyhow to its own effect. Set up a unicorn and pass. I don't play Masquerina, so I'm not setting up unicorn. So I think I'm just summoning Nessie in defense mode and calling it there. Yep. So I've got Quick Fix and Distrudo as follow up for next turn. I do have this Ash Blossom to hopefully stop them, but if they if they're sprite and they just have double draw, then I lose. Unfortunate. Can't believe they're playing draw in Sprite Meadow. That, that that card is miserably bad against Sprite. Like it only hurts them if they I guess it stops like blue jet starter. Like it stops the jet from searching starter, but that's it. It doesn't really stop anything else in that deck. I don't know. Wow, it's just Sword Soul on draw. This guy is not the best player, I don't think. So it's going to something, what? Around? Okay. Sperm will clear my board. Does he have the Moye follow up too? Uh, well, I have to ash that. And then he will Baron that. If he has Moye, then that's lethal. Right? He just attack. He pops, attacks. All I have to do is get to Taya at this point. Taya for Baxia. Baxia. Yep. That is lethal. Wow. Double draw. I don't need a good top deck. I am dead, unfortunately. 
That does not count a runic sprite in the slightest. It's very bad. Droll is so bad into sprite that no one ever played it when sprite was legal in either OCG or TCG. He's just playing a bad deck and I got punished for it. Yeah, the 1200 is pretty good. Minus 12, yeah. But Taya is the lethal line. The, the, once, they, once you see them search Taya, that means they know how to do the lethal line. If they if they don't know how to do the lethal line, they would search Moye to get the plus one. But he knows how to do it. Double Droll is bad. It's just, you know, they shouldn't be running Droll into Sprite. Oh, it's a, I hope this is a grass deck that uh, drew grass while I have a 60 card deck myself. Very funny. Sorry, but Long One Burn is dumb. Eh, it's fine. Like, most decks can OTK you. I'm not that upset by that. It would been funny if I had Gamma there, too. Alright, so they normal summon Xeomin, and then you just Gamma that for sure, because that does everything for them. They have Ash. Oh, I think they have Maxi, probably, then. Ash or Maxi. Droll is not good against Sprite Runic. They just played the Sprite stuff. Oh, they had the uh, quick launch. Okay. I mean, you still have to stop Xiamen. Like whatever deck's playing Xiamen and uses their normal summon on Xiamen is gonna have it rough. But he, if he opens Xiamen quick start, you can, quick launch, you can't really do much about that. And Wyver Burster. Wow, this guy actually had it all. He had all three of his best starters. Cool. Yep. So this is going to Romulus, get Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine sets to Strudo. Then Wyvern Burster gets him the monster he needs to go off of the Strudo. You're the Chaos Emperor. Okay, good lord. He actually drew the best going first hand. I mean, the only other, if his last card in hand is like a call by the grave, then holy crap, right? He had everything. Alright, this sets up the Strudo. Now he can do pissy stuff in a second. Young B, yeah, but you gotta be careful because they have the cards that uh, stop them from taking battle damage once per turn in their deck. So always be aware of that. Is he not doing the Strudo? Is he doing like Apps Router or something? Okay, he's doing Apps Router, all right. I figured it'd be the Strudo, but Apps Router is just as good. Now we can go to Pisty, right? Because I can summon with Boot Sector. This will, oh, this will also get him to yeah, pop this Boot Sector, get him to a Magic Dragon. Crispy, he's got plenty of time left. He's doing his combo fairly efficiently. Spiral out Borlin Dragon. If you're running, uh, what's your face, uh, Underworld Goddess, you could, but I can just, I could just kill this guy with Sleeper and uh, Drone if I needed to, because he's at 64. But I'm not going to get that far, so that doesn't really matter. What'd he add? I was too busy talking. Okay, he added Wyvern Burster. Makes sense. There's the Pisty. Now he can summon to that zone. I 
Oh, Chris, you're back on that spiral game, huh? Well, there's Hot Red Dragon. Okay, okay. Makes sense. They can turn these other idiots into Borland. So he should be able to end on Borland, Savage, Hot Red, and Borland if he did it right, but I don't think he did it everything right here. Yeah, I mean, Chaos Dragon doesn't actually get him another anything here. It's just the fifth material for Borland, right? What does Summoning Tracer here do? As far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't... Does, there's not, like, a... Synchro 12 that does anything. Okay, it's just... He's just clicking buttons before going into... Borland. Sure. Okay, so he's got two negates. requires targeting though. Yeah, I mean you should Pisty's the one you get rid of there, but yeah. Oh, because I have Gamma you can do the Borland effect. That's that's obnoxious I guess. What can he even do though? Like summon rocket synchron? Make a six? Does he have a six? He oh he did have called by. Yeah, he had the perfect opening hand. Xiaomin, three extenders called by. What a what a king. I've had better hands, so, you know, I can't complain too much, but. Okay, these don't make anything, do they? Like this combination of cards. Okay, sure. This combination of cards did not do anything. Alright, so Gamma resolves. So I gotta just beat two negates, but I don't think I can. Negate this, please. Awesome. I think I win? This is an awkward one, but I think this does it, right? Does he have something that does anything in Graveyard? Because he's getting prompts. This is target... Oh, this card can take a, you can target one effect monster on the field and one rock monster. Okay, so he can target his own monsters with Boron. So he doesn't he's probably not gonna realize how this works. So I can add Master Plan here, one for one, summon quick fix, get big red. Yeah. I'm just gonna attack this guy directly, I think, with like a bunch of sleeper activations. Yeah, I know the I know Borland here again can't be destroyed. I don't care. Now he's gonna try to negate quick fix and it's not gonna work. Okay, so he realizes how that works. 
Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to give this guy a chance to do anything, though. So all my cards should be protected by Spiral Resort from his dude. This guy doesn't have an on-field effect, right? That matters. No, nothing here says quick effect, right? Yeah, okay. I guess I gotta do this first. Right, I just need to get I just I need to get drone into play. Then I can summon master plan and normal summon quick fix. Yeah. That all works. I just don't wanna ever give him an opportunity to do anything that matters, so I'm not gonna play anything but spiral cards here. I'm not going to even use Spire. I'm not going to play my Spire Resort because I would give him an opportunity to use Borland Dragon, and I just do not want that to happen. Definitely give him a lure. <laughs> so a master plan here. Activate rescue mission. Okay, can I get more than... Okay, can I prompt... Because I want to get Selene into play here. Let's see, he's got five monsters. So that's 2,500 damage each. So that's 5,000. Yeah, that's just lethal by itself. So I just really need to summon... Like, board blocker here. Sure. Okay. What does a rocket monster do anything here? Like this guy can pop, especially some rocket monster from deck. I don't think that does anything, right? I have, I've got plenty of spiral names in graveyard. Okay. The Cal you could build drop off a little bit. Runic really made it a lot harder to play it because you have to do like the the secret village stuff, which kind of defeats part of the purpose of playing it. Yeah, so like people are like, oh, how do you out Borland Dragon? Uh, this is how I do this.
He negated the blocker for no reason because he didn't see a point where I was ever going to do anything that he could negate. And I, I had lethal. Like, I was over by a bunch there. Like, there was... N Borlin Dragon's negate never mattered. I, can't, I cannot stress this enough. He never had a chance where he could negate any of my spiral monsters, and my spiral monsters were the cards that were killing him there. He, had, he didn't misplay, aside from maybe not saving his hot red dragon, but like, you gotta stop Dragon Ravine, that's a full combo by itself. Dang it, I forgot to share the freaking deck again, I'm sorry. Oh man, I'm really bad at this. Someone needs to remind me as soon as I'm getting close to the end of a game. Maybe this one will go quickly, because like, my opponent will concede that I can show you guys. Need to remind myself, show off the decks. Ah. Uh, this is a combo, right? Yeah, this does it. So we use my normal summon a quick fix to bait any, like, Ash Blossoms, because I really need this Dragon Ravine to resolve. Do I have Discord? Yeah, I'm on, um, the Master Duel Meta Discord. The Spiral. Okay, there we go, sick. It's almost like I've, I've lined it up, specifically. They do have something else though, so I'm gonna Dragon Ravine here. Activate. I wanna put this Mass Play in the graveyard just in case, because I can always just activate Jackalove here. Because I'm afraid of Maxi, and I want this Ash. There we go. I knew it was Maxi. It's always Maxi with his mother. All right, so I win. I'm gonna rip his hand, stack his deck, and I have an Omni Negate. So yeah, he's just dead. Played around both Maxi and Ash pretty well there. Use the second effect, pop, add Spire Resort. I have used my normal summon, so I'm a little awkward here, but we're fine. And I have also like gone through both quick fixes, so also a little awkward in that sense, but it shouldn't be the end of the world here. Special summon quick fix, add big red. Master plan. So I'm going to be using my master plan to get assault here, and then I can. Uh, I have to use Helix to summon master plan because both my quick fixes are already in graveyard, which is very funny. This is because I use my normal summon. I have to do it in this exact particular way. But it's not a big deal. They've already used Ash, so I don't worry about chain blocking here. Go ahead and add Sleeper. This card Assault with Quick Fix, and get Drone, stack their deck. Nice Ash Maxi, buddy. Pretty easy win here when you uh, have the outs and you read your opponent like a book. I don't, I don't get to summon Mash Plan with Double Helix all that often. It's fun to do it sometimes. This is what we used to do all the time. Before Double Quick Fix ruined our lives and made us spoiled. Uh, branded uh, with a Solitaire? That doesn't matter. Uh, does Albaz matter? Albaz forces a discard out of their hand. They're only going to have two cards in hand if they do that, and I have Appaloosa. Yeah, you can have an Albaz. So now we can add a rescue mission here. I will use the Spower Resort at this point. It's not getting any younger. And we discard. Quick fix. This will get us our last resort.
then we want to link go into Dolahan so I'm not banishing my quick fixes here. Then I guess I want to I have two master plans. I can just rescue mission back a mass I can just go into Selene. Yeah, Selene's good here. So go into Selene to get the extra rescue mission in rotation here. I do have three spells, right? Yep. Why wouldn't I? This actually isn't material efficient, but it doesn't matter too much. So do this. This will give me another rescue mission in rotation. Summon master plan. Add a rescue mission. Then I can... I just need to link off for... An Appaloosa here. Oh, I gotta do Borg Blocker, so we'll do Borg Blocker right now. I do want uh, this Borg Blocker to resolve for follow up, but I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. So these two can make uh, the dude. So I just need to get two more monsters on the field, which I can do with Rescue Mission and Quick Fix and Helix. So yeah, there's no... I mean, I, I do just want to add a resort to hand instead of Jackalip for next turn. I don't even use that effect. So we'll call Monster here. And you'll quick fix discard rescue, add the big red for next turn. And then you just make a uh, four material Appaloosa. Uh, can I do this without? I can just make like a a two here. Rescue master plan. Get rescue. Yeah, that's better. One, two, three, four. Yep. This is a little weird, but I'm gonna do this so I can summon my master plan one more time. And get a rescue mission in hand to discard with my jag uh, with my uh, jet sinker on. This is like a weird part of the combo, but I had to do this very awkwardly. So here we are. Here we go. They make Appaloosa. Uh, has the build for you could change since IOC? Yeah, but I run Ancient Fairy Dragon in it now. I'm going to show right... I, I promise... This time I will remember. I will show the Kali Yuga deck and how it... The idea behind it after I do this game. <laughs> this is a very unusual combo. You had to like... I had to improvise a little bit because it, I had to use my normal summon to bait Nash. But otherwise it worked out. Now we do this. Boop. Boop. All right, summon the XL Synchron to send the Jet Synchron. Make your token with O Lion. Then we'll discard this rescue mission with Jet Synchron. Now I've got two rescue missions as follow-up for next turn, which is great. <laughs> Use the left DMZ makes you ill? Why? What's wrong with the left DMZ? Powerful Braver. Is it from like all the Nightmare Griffin builds where you had to put Nightmare Griffin here? And we smoke grenade him. Let's 
Say what you got in there, opponent. Uh, none of this matters, right? I'm just gonna send the Unizombie and then they have out. Yeah, they're just dead. Yeah, sure. This banishes so it doesn't get anything. And you summon Sleeper, and that's game. Alright, I will show the Kaliuga deck after this. I promise. As soon as this opponent concedes, because they've clearly lost. So I resolve Spire Resort. We'll put back Drone, because Drone's the best card to get at this point. Then we'll resolve Warg Blocker, put a Spire Resort in hand. There we go. So if they play Zombie World, I'm just going to pop it with Sleeper, because... It's the only thing that does anything. All right, so he's gonna do that, sure. I was gonna go into battle. Okay, well that's funny. I'm just gonna use Powerful Waver to turn this guy to defense mode. Oh, I can't, it's only during main phase? Oh, that's funny. I don't care then. their turn sure okay so i just win do you have nightmare griffin rongo list uh, i don't play griffin and rongo no why would you doesn't really do anything there change to attack mode change to attack mode this is 5000 7500 yeah, exactly lethal cool it's only about 100 whatever not exactly Sorry, lethal by 500? I'm doing my math wrong here. Also had a rescue mission for both double agent and uh, a super agent and double helix in the graveyard. So I had like 3,800 more damage there. All right. So someone has asked me how I uh, do Kaliuga now. Let me show you Kaliuga real quick. All right. So here's Kaliuga. So the basic premise of this deck is... You get two level 7s on the field, either in the form of Ancient Fairy Dragon or Nessie or Master Plan. Use those to make Will of Fernigus, who can detach all of his materials to be a no material rank 7 Dark Xyz monster. You use uh, Rusty to set your rank up magic, and then you make Kaliuga with it. Uh, this deck is weak to spell speed 2 quick play spells and such that can pop your Will of Fernigus and can pop your back row uh, rank up magic because it can only activate during the main phase. So you get around that by using Ancient Fairy Dragon to search Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Secret Village plus Kaliuga means your opponent can't play spells, and your only real weakness is Kaiju, which isn't uncommon. For instance, uh, Sprite Runic is playing Lava Golem, so you will lose to Lava Golem with this deck, which is why I'm not playing it anymore very often. Uh, but if, you know, you're playing against a... Honestly, I think the, the biggest problem with the stick is going to be in the future, tier elements can just kind of do everything they want to do into Kaliuga, because all their stuff is graveyard effects. Yeah, I mean, I know Rongo can't activate, so he can't detach materials, Putnik, but uh, why does it matter? Your opponent skips their turn and you win on turn three. Why do you care if your Rongo's not activating its materials? <laughs> it's just such a pointless thing to include when you could just include more uh, versatile extra deck monsters. Like, if you resolved Rongo... And your opponent skips their turn, you pop their back row with Sleeper, why do you care? You know, I, whenever I was playing Rongo, my problem was never, dang, if only my Rongo had materials for two more turns, right? That's just never came up. Anyhow, that's the Kaliuga variant. Like I said, I'm not that big on it, because the most common deck in the format right now, Sprite Runic, is playing Lava Golems. But when that wasn't very common, Kaliuga was pretty good for me. Cool. Want another coin flip? That's all good. Oh, it is funny, yeah. And I mean, the Rongo deck is a silly deck. It's not very great. It's not very great, so you know. Uh, this kind of does it in a different way. So we're going to bait a Max or an Ash Blossom or an Imperm or whatever with this 
Quick fix. All right, nothing. Sick. All right, so I'm going to activate one for one, discarding this master plan. To summon drone here. Stack their deck. You can 100% have... Oh, cool. I'm going to get to uh, spell trap negates, so none of this matters. All right, so we will... Uh, big red master plan here. So the master plan. I drew the Dragon Ravine, so I don't need to go to Curious. So I just need to make Appaloosa and uh, Orodon. So this is pretty good. So we will activate this. Discard. Rescue Mission. Send Destrudo. Destrudo off of Quick Fix, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Go to Ancient Fairy Dragon. Activate Ancient Fairy Dragon. Bob it. Add Secret Village of the Spellcasters to our hand. I only have three spells, so we'll do... We will summon this quick fix. Just get a search, because why not? Then we can go to double helix. Master plan will search sleeper and super agent via getting a resort. Go ahead and do this. I guess I'm gonna double helix summon the master plan because I've got both quick fixes and graveyard already. Yeah, makes sense. There is enough to get this royal master plan out of my deck, because you know, you gotta flex the royal. Not heathens here. Get another rescue mission. Uh, we'll make uh, Celine here. Celine effect. Summon Master Plan. Always summon the Royal One. And I guess we'll get the Rescue Mission because Assault Mission just does not do anything anymore. Now I just need to uh, make Borg Blocker and I guess I'll summon Super Agent, Call Monster. So in Borg Blocker using the Ancient Fairy Dragon because it's not really doing anything else here. Then we will rescue mission. Uh, I need to make a. Hmm. I don't have enough cards in hand to summon. Okay, they conceded. Funny. <laughs> I mean, they knew I had secret village in hand already, so sure, sure. I shouldn't have discarded with uh, Borg Walker there because I needed to summon two quick fixes to make a big Appaloosa. I could have just made a small Appaloosa though. I was probably still winning. Lost this coin flip. Let's see how it goes. Andre Humber, three ravine. Yeah, why wouldn't you play three ravine? Uh, and that's and especially in Kali Yuga, where your main goal is just turboing out level sevens. Having as much access to ancient fairy dragon as possible is ideal. I've drawn this Kaiest a lot. That's the weakness of this version of the deck, I guess. Ooh, Zephra. Uh, I guess I just save Gamma for Electromite, but then they could be on the pendulum still. Uh. 
I don't know where a good. I don't play Zephyr enough to know where a good uh, gamma target is. I guess maybe you just hit the Zephyr if you can, right? Oh, Symphonic Warrior guitar. Okay. This card you can use this thing. Right. It's a spell card currently, so you can't gamma it. This card gives you another normal summon. Summon Shadow Zephyr Naga. It wasn't Pendulum Summon, so it doesn't get an effect. Then it goes to Electromite, and I Gamma Electromite. That's the only play I can imagine right now. But you still got Zephyrath. What's Zephyrath's, um... Scales? Five? And his face-up extra deck is a five and a two, and this is Pendulum Summoned. I'm just gonna Gamma this. This has to be right. Because this Pendulum is gonna be so much weaker. He does have another normal, and he can pin summon here. So I can add another Zephyr, and this is going to give him the extension he wants, and he can still go in for beyond the pendulum, I think. Oh, he's still going to like do the ding along crap, right? Because this is a. Does he have a tuner involved here? No tuners. And this guy's a one, because that's how Zephyrath works. Yeah, this card's sick. But, like, that was the only monster effect I was ever getting Gamma off on, so, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I can pin for this guy and his hand. He already had a Zephyr Nui in hand, okay. This will get him to, um, nine pillars. He still got his normal summon. This guy, this guy searches. Oh, he just puts in hand, okay. Oh, he's going to use Zephyr Providence as an extender? Sure. But he's already used his pin summon. So he's got his normal summon left. I wonder how far that's going to get him. Zephyr adds Zephyr War. Interesting. What's this do? Oh, this will activate from hand if he's got two cards in his pendulum zone. Cool. But his hand's because of Symphonic Warrior Guitar and War Blocker to perfect his Zephyrath. Sure. And then Zephyr War and Symphonic Guy. I feel like IP Mascarina would have been better there, but he, he doesn't have a card to discard for Unicorn, so I guess that doesn't matter. Selene or... Oh, he can, he can award on! Okay, so he's going to do an award on combo. Sick. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's going to do the whole Ding Long line, right? Yeah, man, award on's a crazy card. I should know, I'm playing it. Uh, would he have had, if I had held my Gamma for a Rorodon, would he have had a Rorodon? Would he, would, would he have been able to protect a Rorodon with an effect? Like he, this deck does make Appaloosa, right? So there's no reason, like I can't Gamma, I can't hold Gamma for a Rorodon, because if they go all out with Electromite, they get to Appaloosa before they get to a Rorodon, and I can't Gamma at that point. So yeah, I was still right to Gamma where I gamma And this guy played their game on Electromite, so, you know, he did pretty well here. The Symphonic card's kind of funny. See, that extra normal summon got him into Borg Blocker, into uh, Rorodon. They're uh, thinking. Summon your O-Line, dude. That's the only play here, right? Oh, does he um have to go into a jet sink online and he only has to is set for a war to discard? That'd be very funny, but he still you still do that. That's still better than having Zephyr War. Or maybe he's gonna skip the jet sink run part of it and just make like a Baron. Alright, he's leaving a Rord on the field, so yeah, that seems likely. Summon O Lion. XL Synchron here. Nope, Ding Long. Okay, he's just doing the Ding Long line. Sure, sure. Ding Dong effect. So he's going to have Zephyr War and Z Nine Pillars, and I'm probably dead to that, honestly. My hand's pretty weak. We have a Boral, he's going to have a Gate, a Pop, and 
plate. And then nine pillars. So he's going to have two negates and a pop, and I can't really beat that here. Even a droplets doesn't get me there, right? Like, it'd have to be, a, they'd have to let resolves, they'd have to let souls resolve, which isn't going to happen. Yeah. Good play on my opponent's part. I mean, they, they got where they wanted to. And there's Zephyr Nui, yep. Set that and set Zephyr War. So he's got a pop, uh, a negate with shuffle, and, an, and a regular negate. I think I'm just going to start firing dangers to see what happens. Ooh, terraforming's interesting. Activate terraforming, see if he negates. Alright, so I'll definitely go into a Spiral Resort here, see if he negates that. They're thinking. Sure, there's the gate. That does not destroy, though, which is funny. None of his other cards target, I think. Or Zephyr Ward does target, doesn't it? Like, target a Zephyr, target a card your opponent controls. I have to scroll way up to find it, right? There's Zephyr War. Target one of... Oh, it does destroy because it was on activation. Sure, sure. All right, so just activate Nessie, see what goes on here. Nessie effect. Okay, Nessie snipes. And I think I'm just dead, folks. <laughs> That's 5,000, and they can... Oh, okay. So I'll add Jackalope here. That is very odd. Yeah, oh well. So sometimes you get unlucky with dangers. There's not really another card in my deck that I could... There's not another card in the game that I could be playing instead of dangers that would do anything. So, like, I was really low odds to win that regardless, right? I was having to play through two back row and I had no real back row outs. Uh, droplets call by. I need I need a card to do something with this rescue mission and droplets, but otherwise, you know, not a bad going second hand. Maybe it's like a math deck and I have call by for him. It is flu. Flu is very rough for me. Uh, because they set up their that back row card that flips my cards face down, which screws me up sometimes. Also, I can't. I got droplets to beat Impin, but I need to actually do something. <laughs> What? That's not how this works. That is not how this works. Eaglin has an effect. Did he just not click Eaglin's effect? Okay, whatever. Discarding the droplets is not ideal, because they if this summons input, I'm in trouble. Drew the driver, okay, let's see. Jack Lope, discard rescue. There we go. Uh, trigger. Wow, I'm actually freaking screwed by that call by the grave. Yeah. This is awkward. Um... I drew all of the bricks. I drew Gamma, I drew, I drew Driver, and Secret Village. Man, there's so many cards that combo me here. This is the cost of running Gamma, I guess. I could have gone... No, I couldn't. I was thinking I could go... Um, I, I, could, I could have gone Unicorn, Discard, Call by the Grave, Pop their back row, Normal Summon Driver tributing... Oh, that would have been so bad, though. How, how could you possibly think of that? Uh, do I even... I mean... These guys just banish when they leave the field. This is so stupid. Oh, man. 
lost the call by the grave, I guess. So I just Dragon Ravine, Ancient Fairy Dragon, pop, get quick fix, summon quick fix game. Yeah, I, I could have played around Call by the Grave there, I think. I go Nightmare Unicorn, discard the Secret Village, pop their back row, Remus, activate, tribute summon with Driver, discard, Secret Village. I have Rescue Mission in Graveyard, so I can just special summon Quick Fix, Borg Blocker, discard Drone, Rescue. No, that doesn't really work. No, it would have. I could have gotten Big Red. Yeah. Dang, I, I could have played around Call by the Grave. Whatever. Ooh, I, I bricked pretty hard there. My opponent messed up, though, so I should have lost this game regardless, because they should have had Impin on field, and they should have had, you know, a full combo, but I don't know what they were doing. So yeah, I mean, they, they, they drew a bird and they drew maps, so that should be game. Like whichever one they need, they just get the right one. Stree can even banish my rescue mission, which completely ruins my follow-up, so he should get Stree here. Stree, yeah, Rubina, Rubina summon, get England, yeah, that's game. Man, I can't believe I lost this game because I didn't play around Call By when I could have with Normal Summon Driver. That's so irritating. Like, why didn't this guy do his full combo before, though? What's going on? Did he forget to put Impin in his deck? Like, show me Impin and I'll concede here. Or Mega Ryza, either one works. Did he not put the freaking. He added DD Crow? Did he not put the cards in his. Oh, he drew all of his freaking tributes so he couldn't trigger the Eaglin effect? Ah, that explains it. Well, I still lose, though. This adds the, this adds the thing? Yeah, that's game. Man, what a stupid game that I lost because I didn't play around Call by the Grave. Oh well. Yeah, the, the guy had to have drawn. He's probably, he's probably like on one M pin, one Ryza, one Apex Aven, and he drew all three and forgot that he couldn't trigger his Eaglin there. That's the only thing I can think of. Should have won that game, though. Should have won. My bad. This is good. It's bad to Maxi though. So I'm gonna lead off with preparation of rice, bait and ash blossom. Please don't maxi me. Okay, sick, alright. Now I'm gonna lead off a resort to bait like a gamma not a gamma, a, uh, like a ghost ogre or something, see if they have more prompts before I commit to souls. Nothing? Okay, now I'm gonna lead off with magician souls. Because that'll play it like that, it might bait them into using imperms or something. No prompts? Okay, so I'll summon Quick Fix. Activate Quick Fix. Alright, we're good to go, everyone. Get to going. Drew the airline, which should not be a huge problem. You can play around that. So 
That's why I had Sleeper here. This is the Aurora version, as you can see by me drawing the O-line. So I had Super Agent. Discard Assault with Quick Fix. It's not a big deal, guys, trust me. Uh, you get Drone here. Summon Drone. Uh, yeah, Runic, I should, I can get to Ancient Fairy Dragon here, but I'm going to give you an Ash Blossom because it doesn't do anything. But yeah, as long as I get to Ancient Fairy Dragon, we're good. So call Monster. Summon Quick Fix. Add Last Resort. Don't risk back Master Plan. Add Rescue. And they concede. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they didn't know I drew the Garnet, but the plan was you just use Ancient Fairy Dragon to special summon your uh, O-Lion. So drawing it's not that big a deal. It's actually almost preferable because you don't have a chance of milling it off Curious. As long as you have combo otherwise. It's just a little awkward. You have to like... Make sure you probably get, you probably I think you have to end on like a three material Appaloosa instead because you have to use that zone for O Lion, but that's about it. I'm going second. I've got I do have a combo with Ash and Droplets in hand, so that's not bad. If it's Sprite, I'm not going to actually use Ash. Oh, they're uh, back row deck. Boo. Or maybe not. They're just bricked. Nope, they're a back row deck. Okay. So hopefully this is like Labyrinth and I can like Ash Blossom stop their welcome Labyrinth. That's interesting. Um, Small World still doesn't actually do anything, so I guess I just lead off with Dragon Ravine. I can like hold Small World if this Ash is useless. I guess it's in Chaos, because it doesn't do anything. I can just activate Suchinoko. No, I'm going to send I want Suchinoko on the field. Oop. Music stopped. Are they going to let me get this far? My backup plan is like Small World for Souls and Draw 2. They got to do something now if they got it. Nothing, okay. I like just holding a floodgate that wasn't like goes in match or something here. Okay. And then Tiss will trigger. Yeah, that'll do that. 
Alright, so uh, with two cards, I baited out one of those, but this is going to also minus me here. Match my Ash Blossom, go through Jackalope, get the Souls, Souls draw two, and if, uh... And if they stop this, I just lose, honestly. My hand wasn't really great at going second. It was really good at going first, I'll put it that way. <laughs> Which is kind of what the deck's designed to do nowadays. There's a the Solemn Strike, so I'm probably just dead now, but, you know, there are trap decks they might actually have. If, if this is Welcome Labyrinth, then I lose. Oh, it's just Conquistador. Okay, so they're Eldritch, but they didn't draw a way to get to Eldritch. So it just depends on what they draw at this point. Or they have the Eldritch in hand. I'm just dead to an Eldritch, though. Okay, I'm not dead. All right. So I've got I've got outs. Uh, quick fix gets me out. Uh, Spire's work is quick fix. Uh, I don't have rescue mission. Ooh, two more sets. Wonder why he didn't set one of those before. Wow, that's the worst draw of my deck. Didn't you shuffle back in? How are you on top? Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just game. Unless if they, if they flip any other uh, Elvich card, I'm dead. Yeah, okay. Dang, I couldn't beat two interactions. Oh, rough. Obviously, that hand wins going first, but I had lost the coin flip. So, any tips to get more royal cards? I don't know how what tip you could possibly have for that. I just friggin' crafted and pulled packs. Alright, there's a coin flip win. This hand is poop. I drew the O-line again. I drew double bricks. It's a 60 card deck and I'm just drawing nothing but the bricks. Alright, well, that's a good discard. Can't complain about that. If I can get a combo starter... Without discarding this O Lion. This. Why are you not Jackalope? Um. I could go for. I can't even go for a Rordon because I drew the O Lion. Oh man, screw me. Yeah. I just. I didn't draw. I can't believe I'm bricking this hard. I can't even make Curious, right? I have to normal summon O Lion, make Borg Blocker. I could Power Tool, that'd be funny. I could make Borg Blocker go for Curious. But I'm dead to any, like, hand trap here. I can't do any of my word on plays. This is going to be. I also can't even get into uh, Destrudo. This is so bad. This is going to be Sleeper Appaloosa Pass. Ugh. With a Forbidden Droplets, I guess. They got something, so if they throw an Imperm down, I lose. Yeah. That blows. I can't even make Appaloosa because it's a token. What a garbage set of draws, man. <laughs> oh, yes, the Mike Wizard. This is 60 cards. Sure, Cosmic. Maybe it's like Sky Striker? Playing Valor and Cosmic. Exosisters, interesting. I'm dead. 
My only follow-up play is Rescue Mission, and they have the Exosister set up here. God, I can't believe I lost this game when I went first, because the dangers just uh, did not go the way I wanted them to go. It's pretty crazy to draw this many cards and end up with just bricks. I, mean, I guess I did have a combo. I just lost to one hand trap because it was a janky combo. So I can't be too mad with the deck for doing what it's supposed to do, which is like still combo even in weird situations. Can you use token to send off drop? No, you have to be able to send it to the graveyard, and tokens cannot go to the graveyard. I would just send my curious if it mattered. I'm just dead, yeah. They, they just have the lethal line. They had Martha, too, yeah. That Losing that game actually upsets me, because, like, dangers aren't... Dangers are, I guess, our variants, but, like, not like that. <laughs> That's, I had so many draws that win me that game, and I didn't draw any of them. Souls wins me that game, Quick Fix wins me that game, Spire Resort wins me that game, uh, Small World wins me that game, Dragon Ravine wins me that game, Destrudo wins me that game. Uh, this is combo, but I'm going second, so we'll see. I do have Gamma, so hopefully that'll kind of pull me out of the fire here. Most hated. Are you a Floodgate player? Oh, just Sprite, sure. To summon Nimble Beater, that's his normal summon. I think you just pop the normal summon? Because unless they have starter, they loot. They can't do anything from there. Does he have Ash Blossom? Looks like it. Now if he opens starter, he's just a better player. But you can't you can't let them get to twos on board because they just have red in hand. They summon red and you lose. Hello, that's good. So I'm pretty sure he's got an Ash Blossom or a Maxi in hand, which is bad for me. But you know, ooh, that beats Maxi. So I'm gonna have to do the Ancient Fairy Dragon line play. All right, if they have Called by the Grave, I just lose because I can't I can't do the ancient fairy dragon play here okay it's not called by the grave sick so activate dragon ravine discards a chinoko send this strudo alright do they start getting prompts as soon as I summon Suchinoko Yes, okay, so they have an Imperm. Can I beat Imperm? I think so. A normal summon drone. Of these cards, I guess Talents is the one that does nothing if they if they stop my turn. So I get, get a spell. So I put spell card on top, Talents. So I'm pretty sure this is an Imperm. How do I play around that? I can Link Krivo, Big Red, Drone. No, that doesn't do anything. I could do Strudo, Link Krivo, Curious for Master Plan. If they negate that, I still kind of just lose? Ah, can I beat the Imperm? Can I beat the Imperm? I wish I didn't have to use that Ash because I need a discard. I could destroy it for Ancient Fairy Dragon, pop. 
and then negate that. Then I make Borg Blocker a Rordon, strip their card, and get in the gate. Yeah, that's the plan. So we go Destrudo. Go to Ancient Fairy Dragon. Oh, I can go to Exile. That's interesting. Does that do anything? No. Alright, so there's the Imperm. So yeah, I figured, but you know, it's it's a unfortunate situation, but here we are. So I don't want to put that triple tactic ta talent on top because I'm about to make a Braver Dragon, but thankfully I get to go through Jaren again. So I go through Link Rebo here. We uh, go through Borg Blocker. Cancel. And you big red the drone. Stack their deck again. Take off triple tax count because that'll just draw them two cards. And once I knew it was imperm, I had to do this play. So swap frog. Okay. Probably if I negate it. So you go Aurordon. Work it Aurordon. And because I don't have a discard in hand for Jet Synchron, unfortunately, if I had one more card in hand because of that Ash Blossom situation, I could um, get an Omni Negate too, but I do not have the Jet Synchron discard, so. We will keep the Aurordon on field and just make Braver Dragon. I could never get to Jet, so I, I could I couldn't even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Um, like, get the Omni to gate on the field. But this isn't a gate and a hand rip. Okay, so you just get rid of Carrot, they have Swap Frog, sw this, so okay, so he's drawing Swap Frog. Uh, he can special summon this card by discarding one other wall monster, so he could discard Swap Frog, summon Swap Frog. But if he, okay, if I, if I get rid of Swap Frog, he gets Swap Frog, he normal summons Swap Frog, special summons Carrot, goes to gigantic, gigantic, I negate Gigantic, he's dead. If I give him Swap Frog, he swap frog, discard swap frog, special summons, ascends uh, red and toad, and summon red and toad, and make gigantic. I negate gigantic, but he still detaches his swap frog. Then he can red and toad and again go into elf. So I think I just give him the carrot. Then he has to normal summon the swap frog, no special summon carrot, overlay for gigantic, get negated, lose. Yep. bad, isn't it? Because, like, on normal summon, he still gets the effect. 
So they got a normal summon Swap Frog. I should have given them Jet instead of Swap Frog on top of his deck. That was stupid of me. But it, he would just normal summons Carrot and Specials Jet and get Starter, and that loses me the game too. So if I negate this, he gets a Gigantic Effect. So either way, he's going to get the Rodent Toad in here. Yep, special carrot. Bird and Toten, yep. Goes for Gigantic. Oh, this is good, because if this detaches for effect, he won't get another... He won't have Rodentoad in the graveyard anymore. I will negate its effect, not put it to defense mode. No. Negate. Now I can make Elf... Elf summon... Elf can summons... Now he can run and him again. He can summon Swap Frog. Send another Swap Frog. He can't Gigantic again, though, so that's good. But he can get another... He can go into Zeus now. I'm going to lose to Zeus. Dang! Oh, well, so if I had given him Jet, he just normals Jet's... Normals Carrot, Specials Jet, gets Starter, goes for a Gigantic, I negate Gigantic, then he just Starters, and I lose to that too, so it didn't really matter what I put on top of his deck. This is why Sprite's so good, everybody. Like, he can go in for Sky Centuria, Zeus, Attack, Overlay, Overlay, Clear Board. If I do anything from there, I lose. Do I have a Rescue in Graveyard? I do not have a Rescue in Graveyard. That was last game. What? Just Zeus me, dude. What the heck are you doing? I thought, I thought Gigantic only worked on Resolution. Well, this don't do anything. So he's going to Masquerina for an Appaloosa here. Oh, this does do something. Um, if I don't have Ancient Fairy Dragon in my deck anymore, so no, that does not do anything. <laughs> I thought I did something, but it doesn't. Um. I can Jackalope, Distrito, Axis Code. If I Axis Code, he just makes Appaloosa and negates it, but that doesn't do anything. Does he have zero Boros? I think I just make Axis Code, right? Because, like, if I... Okay, let's say I activate a Ward on here, and he goes into Unicorn and bounces my dude. Do I still have Lethal from there? I have Jet Synchron. Doesn't do anything. Like, I could still Aurora on Pop by using this Dragon Ravine. And that'll force... He's got Sprite Elf, too. Oh, I can't even target his Masquerina, so I have to... I th can I just make Axis Code Talker an attack? I think I do this. Oh, he can't Unicorn because of Discard. That's right. All 
Alright, sure. So I have to clear this elf before I do anything because these guys can't be targeted. Well, if I make exit fogger, it doesn't matter, but... Is he just going to make a big Appaloosa and then that loses to Axis Code Talker? He's summoning... Sure, that doesn't matter. I'm not using any more spell effects for the rest of the turn, so this is not relevant. Okay, so it's going to be Mascarena then. Does he have zero Boros? He has Avramax, okay. So I do not have a discard for my own unicorn. Oh, I messed up. I well, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I messed up by not summoning Mothman or Suchinoko there. Dang it! I can't kill this guy because of um, Mascarena. I don't have any cards in my hand for my own unicorn. Yeah, just lose. It's like I make access code talker and pop. It doesn't work because he's got Mascarena. Yeah, that's game. Dang, Mascarena got me there. Even if I had Destrudo, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just didn't matter. Dang. Yeah, I just didn't have any cards in hand for my own unicorn there. It's a rough one to lose, but you know. Aside from not summoning a destructible monster there, that's, I think I did that okay. I added Jet Synchron, but I have the Super Agent in hand, so it shouldn't matter. And I also drew Destrudo. Oh, they have Maxi. Okay. I'm so tired of Maxi, man. I just want to play this game, and I'm just going to get Maxied. Yeah, great. I'm just so tired of Maxi, man. Just so freaking tired of this card. I want to play this game and enjoy it, but I can't because this card doesn't interact with you. It just says you lose the game. I wish, like, I don't know. Uh, do I set up Ancient Fairy Dragon here? Good. How many summons would it be if I go Destrudo off Souls? I'd have to normal summon Link off to put Master Plan in Graveyard to search Spire Resort so Ancient Fairy Dragon can search. So that's one, two, three for Ancient Fairy Dragon, four for the resort for the rest. I guess that's what you do. This is so awkward. Quick fix for next turn. We 
Please don't have freaking Ghost Ogre here. That would ruin my day if I lost to Ghost Ogre because I messed this up. Oh, it doesn't matter. I have Borg Blocker. I don't have to worry about Ghost Ogre. Yeah, sure. Ash is fine. That's not what... That's not what mattered there. Hopefully they're on like pure runic and they lose to this. I don't know. I just got max seed. What am I gonna do about it, right? Maybe it's Sky Striker, right? Oh well. Normal summoner, runic, or uh, sprite guy. Oh, it's hero. Huh. Interesting. Can they attack over master plan without fusion summoning? Probably, right? They have like honest. They have like uh, honest neos. What you doing, opponent? Gonna make the Link Monsters? I don't think they do anything, right? Like, he needs to get the Honest Neos and attack over my Master Plan. But this guy, it would still only... Honest Neos is just like add 1200 attack, right? Because it's attack. So that even that wouldn't get over it. He needs to get like a Stratos on field and then an Honest Neos. And Stratos would actually pop this. So he needs to get the Stratos so he can normal summon and pop this, right? I don't know. Oh, he just needs to get one more hero in graveyard so he can out my, uh... Okay, that does it. Battle. Now he's got Honest Neos or something? Borg Blocker. Okay, so he has a way to pop this, but he needs to clear Borg Blocker first. That's interesting. Or he just has no out, and this is his best play. Please tell me you have no outs. He had no out for Secret Village. Woo! Hopefully these are all just, like, mass changes and stuff. Alright, so how do I go about this?
This is going to be another master plan in rotation so I can use master plan's effect. I can't call by the grave me because I'm under. Uh... <laughs> nice other maxi, you jerk. Oh, I'm so so glad I drew the call by here. Double maxi. No ghost spell, huh? Thank you. So we summon souls. Normal summon quick fix. No imperms? Cool. I shouldn't be playing this in a column because he might have an imperm. Alright, get a rescue mission. Okay, we're the ones on the field. Alright, this all works out for me. Plays around Ash. I think it's just a bunch of dumb spell cards you didn't want to discard. Better safe than sorry, though. Yep, call by. <laughs> yep, nice, nice deck opponent. <sighs> Could not beat Imperial Order. Got Maxi twice that game and still won. Going first here, that's good. Uh, this does some stuff. It's got Call by the Grave for Maxi, and it's got other combos for Ash. For uh, so I'll definitely send you. For you. Do I get souls or quick fix? I guess I get souls. It's more important. If they maxi me, I have call by the grave. Okay, no call, no maxi, that's good. They have something. I'd rather disc I'd rather draw cards to these dangers just okay well you know sometimes you don't get to so I want to summon I would want to summon Mothman here because okay so if if Nessie snipes I have to summon oh man so this looks just a 50 50 I guess I'll summon Nessie and then draw a card off souls And I can, like, forcefully discard Nessie if I need to here. Ooh, that's good. That does it even if Nessie does not snipe here. We're good. The one time I wanted you to snipe, you piece of crap, and you don't snipe, huh? Yes, I'm listening, YouTube. All right, so I'm going to rescue master plan. Hopefully they don't run Ghost Ogre. Okay, no Ghost Ogre. Now I go here, add rescue. If they have an Imperm or Veiler, that'd be great for me to see that right now.
Sick. Okay, that's great. And Imperm here is the worst possible Imperm they could throw at me. I'd rather them Imperm that than Curious or Aurorodon. I'm going to be low on cards in hand, I think. If they had an Ash Blossom, they would have used it earlier. So I think I go Link Crebo, Borg Blocker, so I get my Borg Blocker in the right zone. Or I can go like... I could go Nightmare Phoenix. And then Selene once I get my spells in rotation. Yeah, that makes sense. Get quick fix here and resort. And you play a resort. That's three spells, correct? Yep. And then you go to Celine here. And you Celine while well, it's easy. The problem here is going to be cards in hand, I think. All right? Yeah. So I don't want to use Borg Blocker effect here. Dump some quick fix. So now should I get to get everything? We're basically there. Get Big Red. Then summon Helix, then summon Drone. I can use this Nessie for my Curious, which is nice. You can draw Parallel Exceed, yeah. Right? You can draw Effect Veiler, obviously. That's much worse. Need some Quick Fix here. Your last resort. We gotta get sleeper. All right, so now we've got all the cards out of the deck that we want to get out of the deck. So I'm not worried about curious. I can make Appaloosa first because I'm not gonna have a lot of material at the end of this, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this. Now we discard, rescue. We should have having to use double helix for our Borg Blocker at the end, right? We ever leave. Okay, sick. All right, they conceded. Obviously, I had the combo there. I just had to make a slightly smaller Appaloosa. You end up making Dullahan here, Big Red Master Plan, turn those three into Curious. Then you can revive one quick fix by discarding a rescue. Uh, then turn, then revive another quick fix by discarding the extra big red. Then you go Borg Blocker with a quick fix and a Helix. Uh, Destrito plus quick fix is Ancient Fairy Dragon. Then Drone plus Borg Blocker is uh, the final piece for Ordon. Did you encounter the Spiral Master? I'm not a master. I'm just a. I, I play the deck, and I try to. Uh, I try to spread the knowledge that I have accrued on Spiral and all the funny builds I've made to the masses. Oh, cool, another coin flip. Hopefully I won't get maxied this time. This is awkward. Um, I'm about to skip Secret Village here. Depending on what this uh, Suchinoko does. Maxi. Yeah, it's always just Maxi, ain't it? I don't know, man. 
Anything funny to do with the Shizu cards? Not really. I wish I had a rescue mission in hand so I could rescue on their turn, so I'd have a much harder to beat master plan. But yeah, I'm just going to lose to whatever 60 card monster nonsense they got going on here. Diviner, send these users. Yeah, you got it, dude. Um, if it was the Spiral Goat, probably Ryan Levine. He's the one who got the most tops with it back when it was meta. Currently, probably no one. I don't know. What's up, Luby? Uh, yeah, nothing much. I'm just getting maxied a lot today. Imagine if that driver was Gamma. Right now, my eyes are on Rika. Uh, Rika doesn't seem that great to me. Wow, what a hand. Two double bricks. Going second. Alright, so they're going to do the sprite stuff. Dark Beckoning Beast summons the Dark Beckoning Beast. Makes Gigantic Sprite. Sets up Jet. Jet adds Starter. <laughs> starter summon Blue. Blue add Red. Gigantic summon Carrot, probably, or a Swap Frog. Whatever. Not really surprised by anything here anymore. You should be able to get to everything they want. Droplet at the top probably doesn't win this game still, right? I mean, it depends on what I, like, draw. Or, no, there's nothing I'm drawing, right? Yeah, I could go into the spiral combo and I still have sleeper in hand. If I drew Droplet, I could Droplet for... I need the Dragon Ravine to combo, but I have the O-Lion. But then I don't... I could clear their board and set up, like, Appaloosa Sleeper. That's about it. Because I can't, I can't go into a Roaring. Because what I'm going to have to do is, like... Uh, Droplet Sending 4. Dragon Ravine Discard. And then I have the O-Lion token. That's if I draw a Droplet at all, obviously. Swap, swing, swap, so you can Roden, Toten. Makes sense. Never got blue into rotation, or carrot, or red. Seems odd. There's starter to do it, I guess. Starter gets blue, blue gets red. Or carrot, sure. Same difference. Buster. Okay. Mascarena. Sure. Carrot. Okay. And set one. So probably hard drew smashers. Did not draw droplets, but I can just start firing dangers and see what happens. the dragon beat is not ideal but we'll see what we draw our rescue mission could do something Souls. I guess of all these cards, Illusion of Chaos does the least at this point, so I put it back because I don't have Small World. This is called by the Griffin to be sad.
All right, they let me get this far. They have the monster negate for this. They're letting me draw. That's rare. So if I rescue mission here, they have smash. Okay, so the Masquerina is going to unicorn my master plan if I commit that far, but I can't target the Masquerina with anything so far. Um, I fear it's like smashers, right? I'm just going to... I have to just try, right? If it's called by the grave, I also lose. Okay, sure. So maybe I can still do something, but not without Spire Resort, because they're going to have negates and targets. Yeah, I was always losing the call by the group, I think. Because, like, if I one for one for quick fix, they just negate it. Or the... Maybe I should have done this first, because, like, they don't have a really good send off carrot. They can just elf summon and then send that off carrot. So they'll activate Carrot, then summon... Oh, they'll send Masquerina. Okay, sure. They should have summoned with Elf earlier. Or did they summon at the beginning on... They didn't, right? They always had Carrot? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we'll use Oli in here. Spiral's my favorite deck, yeah. I've tried other decks, they're just boring compared to Spiral. Alright, let's see what I draw. Uh, preparation Rights does not do anything. So does this hand do... I can Selene. Selene could summon... Selene could, like, force this guy. like one more in if I had like one more piece of interaction I could like do something here I'm just short again curious with forcing the gate and it's just access code talker pop lose at least with curious I can go to link crew first so I have two access code talker gates Well, I can't do any of... I, ha I have to go into Sling because I can't use this guy for material. And I can't go into Link... Dang, that sucks. But I can't go into Borg Blocker first. Borg Blocker, Selene, Force. Yeah, I guess that's right. Oh, now I think it's a Masquerina? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I just lose to that. Yeah, that's game. Yeah, they have the second interaction here, which is more than enough. Man, I'm just kind of been treading water in Platinum 2 today. Unfortunate. How about... What about Normal Summon O-Lion there and then? And Link it off for Nightmare Phoenix, Chain Link 1. Uh, that's not how that works. It's not... Like, the problem there is they still have the Masquerina play, right? I shouldn't really have much going on. And, like, if I have to use my normal summon, I can't I can't extend further because I need to get to Quick Fix. Alright, so... They are... I chose to go first! I chose to go first! Hold on. What the hell? I chose to go first! Excuse me? Is anyone, did anyone who just, okay, well, maybe I didn't. I'm pretty sure I clicked go first. I just lose now, because I 
the game decided to make me go second. I'm actually really upset. And they got to search Smashers, so I just lose to Smashers because they had everything else, right? Dang it, man! Why did I... Oh, well. I blame streaming. Uh, I can Small World for Souls, then Chain Droplets. I heard the I heard the click noise when you the, the ding noise when you click the go first button. My problem here is Sprite Smashers, correct? Yeah, plus they, they probably drew a call by the grave, so whatever. So I create Spire Resort here. Activate. Let me get away with this? Are you kidding me, man? Even when I'm going second, I have to deal with this BS. Ah, oh, dude. It's just so miserable. I'm going to call it after this, guys. I'm just tilting out. It's been a bad day. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to get Super Agent, Blind Call, and I would know their top deck. The fact that this is going to work annoys the crap out of me. I can get Master Plan, Droplets for four, Sending Resort. Rescue master plan, but then they do the thing. I drop this for four and send quick fix. I can rescue quick fix, get big red. Then I can Suchinoko, but then I don't have a card in hand to pop. I think I still have to get this and just lose to Maxi. Well, I guess if they had Maxi anyhow, I lost to Maxi going first, so it didn't matter. It's just Maxi all day, dude. It's a 33% chance and it shows up more than 33% of the time. It really bothers me. Of course, it's not a monster card in the freaking sprite deck that always plays monsters. Alright, um... Spell on top, good to know. I don't care about that. Hey, Retro. None of this matters. So yeah, droplets for three here. We'll send this super agent. This use spiral resort. And this rescue mission. Then I still have small world.
Now it's just a 50-50. Where would they put Smashers? I'm going to call here. I'm going to say this is Imperm. That's Imperm. Okay. Okay, so they got Smashers left. They're going to... Oh! They're just going to... Oh, I win! Sick! I think I win at least. Banish. Banish one of these guys. I think all of this is fine, right? As long as they didn't draw Ash Blossom here. I just go through like a Nessie. Imperm column, remember that. Yeah, nice. Good to see Ash Blossom. All right, so now we just uh, we go for the win here as fast as possible. Unicorn bounce this rescue sleeper game. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have played around that. I just lose, right? I lost to the Ghost Ogre on my Unicorn? Dang, dude. I mean, I lost to Maxi, right? I had this guy beat except for Maxi. Oh, man, what a pain in my butt. Maybe they can't beat Sleeper, right? I just summon Sleeper, equip Last Resort. I hate Maxi so much, dude. Why do I have to lose going second? Because they drew Maxi. Like, why, why is this reasonable, right? So I can Ash their starter and I can Sleeper their normal summons. I let them get that effect off. Then I pop both of them. They don't have Renner Toad in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Now, hopefully they didn't draw the Called By, because they already drew one for my Master Plan. Oh, they do have Renner Toad, and I just lose. Ah, I didn't even look. It didn't matter. I just lost to Maxi again. It's just 
Yeah, I'm done for the day, guys. It's just been non-stop maxi all day, and it's really getting me down. Maybe we should have kept droplets in hand. Droplets would have been better here. I should have waited for Gigantic Sprite. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just tilting. I can't believe I lost the coin flip. Because I misclicked, I guess, or didn't click fast enough. Now they can go for red. Ronin Toten, so they have a guy, right? They have another swap parking griever? They don't, huh? They can beat Sleeper. They've got access code talker, right? As long as they don't go into Gigantic Sprite. They can pop Blasters where it pops Sleeper. Oh, well that doesn't do anything. Definitely Ash Blossoming this, because they can't red it, because that would get rid of their guy, which would cause it not to resolve. Really? There's no way this wins. Oh, he's got this guy's never read Last Resort. Classic not reading Last Resort Spike player. Woo! Okay, well, this is all they got. Wait for the set cards, just in case they're... There's no call by, because they would have called by Ash. Oh, they can make Zeus! That makes sense. Yeah, that beats me. I think I summon Master Plan here, so if they try to Zeus, I get cards. Sure, play Maxi again. Whatever, asshole. Do I have another... Now, if they have an Ash Blossom, because they you know, drew it off Maxi, I'm, I lost to Maxi again. <laughs> now, if I can draw my third droplets, <laughs> I still lose to this, obviously. That's probably an Imperm. Wow, I drew the only other spiral in my... Fuck it, dude, you got it. All right, I'm done, I'm done guys. I got maxi three times this game. I'm just tired. I, this this game is ruining my life every time I play it because it's just maxi nonstop. All right, hope you guys have fun. See you next time. Bye.